it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, I have got for you a super drug haul. So yes, I've got us a box full of goodies from Superdrug to go through. I haven't actually opened this yet, so I'm going to open it and go through everything that I got. So it would appear that Jake is joining us. I can't get this open. Where's some scissors? Okay, we're in. I've got a biggish box full of goodies. I don't think there's a mass amount in here, but there's some good bits, I think. Okie dokie then, so to start, I'm just going to show you an essential. It was one of the main reasons that I did a Superdrug haul this month. I needed some more eye makeup remover. This one is my absolute fave. I've probably talked about this often. I find it's really gentle, but it removes even the most waterproof and stubborn of mascaras. I really, really like this one. So this is from Simple, and this one was, let me just check my pricing, um, £1.85 each. I think it was a buy one, get one free. So really good. I try to stock up on this as often as I can when it's on offer, because honestly, I use it daily. It's such a lifesaver. Okay, next. Um, now I'm going back to work and things, it's starting to happen. I could do with some dry shampoo. Because <laughs> um, I ain't just laid around the house anymore. People are gonna see me. <laughs> um, so this one is a big one from Batiste. I got this for three pounds and 32 pence. It's the big one. I think there was money off. I can't remember what the offer was. Let's see if it says. It was a third off. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So this will last a good old while. It's a big bottle. Um, I like the Batiste one. I, out of all the dry shampoos I've used before, this is one that I always find kind of blends in quite nicely with my hair and doesn't leave that funny white texture, but it also doesn't like feel funny on the, I, I know, I don't know. Uh, the one that actually, the Soap and Glory one is a good one because that always smells really, really nice. But I think this one's just got the edge. Okay, the next thing that I got was some fragrance. Um, this was on the Star Buys, I believe. It should be £3.99, but I got it for £1.88. It is just super looks on Layering Lab. Um, this one's in Paradise. This is one I think that was the highest rated, and it said tangerine, green tea, and vanilla. I love me some vanilla, we all know this. Um, and I, I've heard really good things about this, and I thought, do you know what, actually now I am kind of going back to work a little bit more, um, it might be nice to have something in my bag just to kind of freshen up throughout the day. But like I said, I haven't actually smelled this. <laughs> it might be awful. I could spray a bit in the cap. Right, look. That's good. <laughs> it went right on my nose. No, it's nice though. I like that. Ooh, it's kind of very fresh. You can smell the tangerine to it. Mm. No, I like that. That's good. That'll go in my handbag. Okay, sticking with the fragrance theme then, if anybody watched my unboxing of last month's Secret Scent Box, there was a um, fragrance in there that I really quite liked. It was a brand new one from Banana Republic. And in the box itself, there was a little card that told you it was gonna be on offer in Superdrug. I've since worn it a couple of times and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to take Superdrug up on their offer and I bought myself a bottle. Um, so this was a bargain price, okay? This should be £55 at full price. And Superdrug has them on offer at the current, kind of like an introductory offer for £25. So this cost me £25. And in here, we get 75 mils. It's for me, so I can unwrap it. It comes in a lovely pink box that just pulls out and there's our perfume. It's peony and peppercorn. Like I say, I did have a try of this from my secret scent box. This is why I like these secret scent boxes. I think that they just, I don't know, they give you that opportunity to try fragrances that you wouldn't necessarily reach for yourself. Like, I wouldn't, wasn't so sure that I would have liked this one, but on wearing it, I really enjoyed it. I really liked the smell. And I thought, you know what? How am I gonna treat myself? So, yeah, bargain of the month. Okay, finally, I topped up on a couple of essentials. Um, there's not makeup in this haul this month, um, surprisingly. But yeah, what happened? No makeup revolution, Ashley. <sighs> okay, so firstly, I bought a hand wash from Superdrug. I like their hand washes, they're really good. This is their antibacterial wash. It's just a top up. Um, nobody wants to run out of hand wash these days, do they? So this is a pound. Um, I think I'm down to like my last bottle in one of the bathrooms, so this will come in useful. And like I say, antibacterial, it's very important at the moment. And then sticking along with that theme kind of, I got myself some antibacterial hand gel. <laughs> this stuff, 
we all need it at the minute, don't we? Um, I have the aloe vera one from Superdrug and I did really like that one. And I've seen a few people mention this actually. It's their strawberry and raspberry one. So this one should smell really nice. Ooh, fruity. I just thought, I don't know, rather than smelling like, you know, that alcoholy smell. Yes, that's very fruity. Still a little bit alcoholy, but you know. It's got a nice fruity aroma about it. Um, so in here we get 100 mils, which I think is a really good size. Again, this can go in my work bag. Um, and this costs one pound and 25 pence, which ain't bad. Um, the aloe vera one's a similar size that I've bought before and I really like that one as well. So it's important to stay topped up on these things. And then the final item that I bought, it's sticking along with that whole COVID theme again. I got myself a face mask. I'd seen these on the Superdrug website and I'd seen a couple of reviews that said they were good. Um, so it's a face cover, it's in pink and you can wash it, you don't tumble dry it or bleach it. It's antibacterial, it's got biocidial properties. Oh my God, I can't speak. And it costs two pounds 99. This is something that we need. Obviously going into shops now, into any buildings really or in close proximity with others. And I just thought, I have two masks already that are both washable but I kind of need enough so that I can interchange them while others are still washing and drying. So this is this one. Um, go that way. Does it matter which way it goes? Um, basically it's the Dian's design. Oh my goodness. They'll clip over your ears. Um, I mean I can try this on for you now I suppose. <laughs> Doing a really good job. I don't know if there's a particular way, if, the, if this, this I've got it upside down or if not. Um, I like the idea of the pinkness of it. I thought it kind of would blend better with the skin. I'll try it that way, see if that looks any different. But I just thought I liked the look of that, like it kind of, it's not like this crazy obvious boom face mask, but it also is. It actually sits quite comfortably to be fair. I feel like I can breathe through it. Apparently, um, to decide whether a face mask is any good, you should try and blow out a lighter. <sighs> I can't feel anything <sighs> remotely coming through that, so I don't think <laughs> it'll blow out a lighter. How does it look? Do I look like the queen of fashion? Um, these face masks, they're not ideal, you know, not everybody's going to want to wear them, but they're important for saving our lives, so I think everybody needs one of these. Jakey, what are you doing? <sighs> so that was my super drug haul this month. I think I picked up a pretty good array of stuff. Um, this cost me 30 something pounds. Um, without checking, I can't remember. Obviously this is 25 pounds worth of it. And I've got a big bottle of shampoo. I've got a face mask, some hand wash, hand sanitizer. I've got my eye makeup remover. I've got another fragrance. <laughs> So I'm really happy with this month's haul. I do love me a good super drug haul. I do find that they have some great offers on. Um, towards the beginning of Jakey, will you stop making a racket? Um, towards the beginning of lockdown, it was kind of hard to get anything from super drug. Um, and I had to constantly check a lot of things were only available for click and collect. But now they seem to be doing a lot better. More stuff seems to be in stock. Jakey, he's <laughs> making, I don't know if you can hear him. He's crazy. <laughs> Oi! Oh my goodness, I do apologise. Anyway, I'm going to go sort him out. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, then please do me a favour and hit that like button. Give me a huge thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about any of these things. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll try and have videos up as often as possible. I know I missed last week. I've just been busy. We're now kind of transitioning back into work and things. Um, so yeah, things are a little bit hectic sometimes, but that's fine. I try and do my best to have videos up Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You noisy boy. Yes.